What up guys, your boy Kothis and we're back with another one. Now today we're gonna go over one of my all time favorite weapons in the game. I'm currently not having it equipped right now. As soon as we get in the video, you'll see what it is. But I feel like you should always have this in your arsenal because the weapon we're gonna go over is very versatile. It is a utility weapon. And sorry for the delay in videos. Uh, I've been working on a lot of videos, but anytime I look them up, it seems that someone has already put a video out. So I don't wanna copy and paste like a lot of these YouTubers are. I mean, they're just shamelessly copy and pasting and I'm not about that. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, I'm going to show you the weapons, but don't judge me on this. <laughs> These are the weapons. These two weapons right here. Now, I know what they say. I know they say they only do four and six damage. I understand that is very, very low damage, especially for someone that likes to go out and do big damage. But these weapons are amazing. They are absolutely insane. And all you need to do is attach an element to them. Now, by themselves, you can see they're very, very weak. You don't really do much with them. You don't want to turn them into melee weapons. They're magic weapons for a reason. And my favorite is the ice. Now, ice element in this game is very strong. You can get away with a lot just because it hard CCs all of the enemies. Now, not all of the enemies. There are many bosses and then main bosses that cannot be CC'd by this, but it does put out damage on it. Even though it may not be a lot, it still puts damage out. I love the eyes for this reason though. Okay, so the best way to obtain these items are through these little guys right here. Hey, dude. I'm just going to briefly show you where I am on the map so you can come get this guy. These guys are everywhere, but this is one of the easier ones to get to because you can just fly down. There's actually two other ones close to this area, like a fire one and uh, I think another electric one. But just kill these guys. They don't take much to kill. Get a headshot on them and they'll drop it. Now, you're looking for the rod. They can also drop a sword. You don't want the sword. You either want the rod or the staff. And another way to obtain these are through shrines. I have found multiple of these in shrine chests, so if you don't want to come hunt for that guy you can definitely try your luck in a shrine and the last way that i've been able to obtain these is going to these statues in the depths and it's these statues only in the depths i think it's once you purchase it or have it in the inventory you can come back and buy it anytime but the one up above does not sell these i don't know why maybe it has something to do with like the old maps and having like old weapons or something i'm sure someone in the comments can let me know but as of right now i have no idea now, when you get the weapon as a drop, it's gonna come infused with some type of element or some type of uh, gem already. Now, the gems are the way you wanna go. I'll go over everything here in a bit, but I highly suggest going with these gems over any other material that you wanna put into it. So you can just break it down, put out another material, uh, fuse it back and go into it. So we'll just show you what water does real quick. These are the light attacks. We'll go into the charge attack or heavy, if you will. And then I'll show you what I use it for. Uh, the water is useful it's not it doesn't do a lot of damage but it's it's fun and then the uh the electric attack very very strong i think it's one of the stronger ones definitely because it can do this it stuns enemies and knocks the weapons out of their hands which is very very useful uh, if only it could chain a little bit more i feel like it'd be better that's why i use the ice and then of course fire fire is always strong uh, I think the fire and the lightning do a little bit more damage to targets versus the ice, but the ice is still strong. And you know, if you use fire against an ice enemy, they evaporate. If you use ice against a fire enemy, they evaporate. So it's a one shot. Also, I mean, people know this from the original Breath of the Wild. You can use fire as an updraft, which is nice. And then finally, my favorite, which is ice. I love ice just because of the massive AOE that it has and the long duration of a CC. And of course, if you want to use it to traverse, you most definitely can it's very easy to do so as you can see here all right and as you all know you can use anything and attach it to your weapon I, right here i have the light pieces which are from the worm guys they turn it into a magical melee weapon so anything that you attach that isn't a gem will turn it into a full-on melee weapon and make the ability or the effect that it has more of a single target damage versus an aoe that's why i always use the gems that you get from rocks and stuff because it makes it a full-on magical weapon as you can see here and of course, gems are extremely easy to come by. I mean, you can find them in any cave, you can find them outside, climbing on the mountains or anything like that, or you can just go to the depths and get them there. All right, one more thing before I close out, guys. I just want to show you that you cannot affect armor targets. I'm going to go over a couple things, but I figured that maybe the fire or the electricity would be able to do some chip damage, but it didn't at all, which kind of surprised me. I knew the other two weren't going to work. And then on top of that, if you're using one element and you fight an enemy of the same element, it's not going to affect it. So keep that in mind. 
And like I said before, you can't CC bosses. Now, you will get a little bit more damage out of the fire and the electricity, but honestly, it's not that much more damage. So just run with whatever you want to run. The only one I seemed to be able to CC at all was the Hinox or Hinox, however you want to say that. And that was just based off the shin guard it was wearing, whether it be wood, I'd hit it with fire. And if it was wearing a metal one, I'd hit it with electricity. All right, guys, that pretty much sums it up. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment. It helps this channel out a lot, and it helps me out a lot. In the future, I'm going to come out with another video that pretty much does the same thing. It's going to show you a utility item or a weapon that's going to help you or greatly benefit you in a lot of different ways. So hopefully you guys check that out. Anyways, you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the future. Later, guys.